she's a little confused about what to wear to the Brit Awards. Nobody's ever got it this wrong before <laughs> when I'm about to leak my next single. It's gonna be fun. Hi MTV, I'm Perry and welcome to Blind Rate. I'm about to rank some moments from my career without knowing what's next. And I only get three lives to swap. So let's see how this goes. I've got a right creaky table. First up is my outfits. So let's go. I'm scared about this one, I'm worried. <laughs> worried what that might be. Okay, uh, oh! She's a goji hun, she's a goji hun. One of my faves. It's one of my faves. I feel like it doesn't get much better than that for me. I'm gonna go no crumbs. I can always use a lifeline and like switch it later, but that, <gasps> Suzanne Neville dress, custom made, cinch, cinch, blue. Come on. Okay, next. Uh, she's a little confused about what to wear to the Brit Awards. It was her first time. She's not a flop, but that's not it, girl. She's going down there. I don't think I'd ever bring the purple hair back. I loved it at the time. It was a moment, it was fun. I felt, oh, I'm so quirky with purple hair. But no, she's had her day. It's done. And the outfit is cute. I'm not dissing like my look. I'm just saying for the time it was cute, but no. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know what's more offensive, the outfit, the pose with the, with the boot or the hair. I'm gonna say, oh no, I might have to do a swap. She, let's swap. Give me a life. Move up to, well, yes, I guess. And stick her right down in no way, Jose. I feel like back then, it was very much, it was a different style. It was a different time. It was a different genre in our lives. And I feel like sometimes it really worked and sometimes it really didn't. But a lot of the time I was just like a little clothes horse. I was happy for anyone to just get me dressed and off I went. I didn't really, with stylists and things, I wasn't that confident enough to be like, I don't like this. If they put it on me, they're like this. I'm like, mm -hmm, I love it. And that's why I probably wore half of this stuff. I didn't ever want to upset anybody. This, Summertime ball. I actually love this. It's giving Edward Scissorhands, but cool and girly. I think this is giving, it's between it girl or we love her. We do love her. Yeah, we love her because we don't know what's next. So. so that was my first ever big solo performance at Summertime ball. And I just thought, why not throw myself in the deep end? It, what is it, 80,000 people? And all my family watching, broadcasted on TV. Sure. But I'll tell you what, it was the best day ever. Like I loved it. Being back on stage in my happy place, that's where I'm at. Oh, I quite like this one. I actually really like this one. And this is something that it's like a taste thing. Some people will see this and think that's disgusting. And some people will think that's so cute. Like I think it's it girl. I really do. I'm a fan. Okay, so for the last one, it is. Oh, look at that bump. Isn't it neat? Oh, I love this dress. This is going to make it really hard now because that is not mid. That's not mid. So I'm going to have to use. Oh, I'm going to have to use either two lifelines and bring It Girl and We Love Her down or use one lifeline and move no crumbs. Oh, I love no crumbs. Okay, I'm gonna go for two lives. So, give me a life. You go. No, you stay, you go. There, is that right? Mm-hmm. And then I think this should be it, girl. You're my it, girl. I think that looks nice, I'm happy with that. That was the Brit Awards I went to and I was pregnant with my little Axel. And we won an award that year with a baby award attached to it that you could give to like someone. And I was like, I'm keeping it for my baby. So cute and it was such a fun night as well. So loves it. So I'm happy with how this is all looking. I think I did a good job. It's all looking cute. 
And next up is my best belt, which I'm nervous about. <laughs> okay, here we go, best belts. What we got? Power. Oh yeah, power is pretty cool. I do love power. I prefer the live ad lib for power. Maybe we should just send it straight to it girl. Oh, no, go there. Yeah, I think, I think it girl, it girl. Let's see what's to come. Cause there might be some horrible ones. Okay, forget about us. <sighs> forget about us ad lib is pretty up there. I'm going to say we love her. We love her. Stop doing that. You're not mid. Okay, so far, so good. Tears. <sighs> Tears, I'm going to say, for me as a vocalist, mid actually. I'm going to say mid. Woman like me. <sighs> woman like me. What do I sing a woman like me? I'm mid. Eh, uh, well, yes. It's not that great. But we'll stick it there. No. There. Secret love song. Well, I can't put it in not a flop, but we like it. It's got to be No Crumbs. I sung that every night on a whole world tour, and I didn't leave no crumbs. But I did have a sore throat. No one. You go. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now we've got an issue. Does one life mean I only move one? Or does one life mean I can move them all down and put one in? Oh, what are the rules? No, I've never done that before. Yeah. <laughs> well, nobody's ever got it this wrong before. Because <laughs> what was that one again? Secret love song. Yeah. No. I can make it work. We're going to just have to take power and make it that is what it is because my you go at your way ad libs are so crazy. I'm terrified to sing them live. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> but I think this is, this looks good. I would have definitely put woman like me at the bottom. I didn't think that one through. I've still got a life. Yeah. I've had to switch that round like that because I had to get you go your way up there. It's my brand new single. And I've gone in on the ad libs. So I wanted to make sure I was really sing, sing, singing throughout the song. So yeah, I'm excited for this new single. I did it with Joy Anonymous. It's so fun. It's so energetic. And I just love that you can take it in any way, shape or form. So like a lot of my fans at the minute were messaging about them going away to like uni. And it's like, it's part and ways and doing a big part of your life. You're going to university or you've got a friend and you're part and ways for a while. A relationship's part and ways, whatever it is. But I just think it's really cute. My story had a happy ending. So I was supposed to be going on tour with Ariana Grande for like three months when I just met Alex and we were dating and we were proper loved up. And I was like, I really like him, but I don't expect them to wait for me. So I just had that conversation and I said, you go your way, I'll go mine, and if we're meant to be together, we'll be together. But we were, we, we were together, and now we're engaged. And gonna have, well, had a baby, and gonna have more, many more. So yeah, we had a happy ending, so that's why I love this song. So for the last category, it is gonna be funniest TikToks. Oh, cute, I love this one. Okay, this was when we were on holiday. Um, in Portugal and I was teaching my family the Tia's choreography, which is pretty simple, but <clears throat> they, didn't, they didn't really get it that well, but they tried. I'm going to say, well, yes. Oh my gosh, Axel's little cameo. Oh, okay. I'm trying to promote myself and look cute in the pool and then he comes over and <sighs> I would say we love her. We love her. We love him. He loves to get involved in mummy's TikTok. So anything to do with mummy's work, he just absolutely loves it. He loves the La La Room, like my studio. He loves traveling. Like he absolutely loves traveling. Every morning he wakes up and goes, Mama, should we go back to Berlin? And I'm like, Berlin? He's like, or Portugal, or Turkey. 
and he just keeps reeling off places he wants to go. And I'm like, oh, Bubs, he loves traveling. He just loves it so much, which is handy for me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Vogue pictures, some of my boards. I feel like this did really well, which is weird. I'm gonna say this is the it girl because it was pretty good and it had a lot of good views and I've got good core strength. Oh, when I'm about to leak my next thing, girl. Um, she's not a flop, but she's not that girl because I didn't leak it in the end, did I? So she didn't follow through with her words. Okay, next one. Oh, my baby. The love of my life. I think he's got a go up there. No crumbs left by my fiance. I love the bones of that man. Look at him. Look at him. Supporting my soul. Alex sings with me all the time. He wants to feature on things and I'm like, mm. but I just adore him. He just loves me and loves to see me win and that's why I love it. So he loves getting involved at like rehearsals and stuff. He's just a really good egg. The best egg ever. The kind of egg that would have two yolks inside. Okay, um, next. Uh, oh, how my hell you spell chauffeur, chauffeur. Ooh, fancy pants, Rich McGee over here is going in mid because that was the only place. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. I feel like I should have this just for my own life so I can make decisions because I'm misindecisive. And this kind of gives me a way of like making a decision. And there you have it, the Perry approved ranking of my career so far. Thank you for watching Brack. <laughs> Thank you for watching Blind Rate with me, Perry, on MTV, and don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, I have like a really cool song coming out. Um, so yeah, if you want to check it out, it's called You Go Your Way. I absolutely love it. It'll give you some energy through your bones, and you'll love it. Hopefully. Yeah, check it out. <laughs>